We actually do have a couple of the top 20 winners with us, and I keep saying top 20. We should say the final 20. They want to make sure we distinguish between those. They're with us today. We have uh, Jilly Barnes, who put together the piece Engulfed in Glass. We also have Ryan Spencer, whose piece, despite similarities, this is a work of fiction. Did I say that right? Uh, close. Despite similarities to reality, this is a work of fiction. Yeah. Despite similarities to reality. So that's where you'll find those. Let's start with you, Jilly. Tell us a little bit about your piece. And first of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm very excited. My piece is called Engulfed in Glass. It's a large glass mural made of uh, 75 large pieces. It depicts four seasons along the shoreline. Starts with winter in the moonlight, transitions through an early spring morning, an evening summer sunset, and an autumn afternoon. It has beach sand encased inside the glass, and then it also has a little bit of driftwood in it. What do you think it was about your piece? We're looking at it there on the screen that, that captured people's hearts. I think it's a part of where we live. I think people could relate, and I think glass is such an incredible medium mm -hmm. to work with. It's, it's still in motion. I think, I think people could relate along the shoreline. All right. All right, Jilly, thank you. Ryan, let's talk with you. Your piece obviously really hits home, especially for veterans and folks that have uh, served in our country. If we can take a look at that. What do you think, uh, what do you think hit home about your piece? I think just seeing something that we're not used to seeing uh, on the daily news or um, you know in our homes. Um, we have the luxury of living in a society where only one percent of the population is doing that heavy lifting for us. Right. And um, you know it, it's a it's something that we're just very unfamiliar with. What we're asking of our young men and women. What, ins what was your inspiration behind this work? I had a cousin in the Band of Brothers Battalion today, mm -hmm. and um, he had served for well over half of these wars, and I had no idea what his life was like as a, as, as a soldier. So this is about closing that gap of understanding uh, between he and I, and, and hopefully we have a document that um, will help other, other people cross that, that bridge as well. Right. Uh, Jilly, tell me what it was like when you heard your name come over the speakers for the top, I was, the final 20. I was on a cloud. I was on a cloud just to be an art prize, uh -huh. and I just elevated a little higher. I was, I was thrilled. I bet you still are. Oh, yeah. Brian, what was that moment like for you? Were you expecting it? Um, no, I wasn't. I, I, I'm always surprised when people respond um, to documentary work in, in an environment like this because they're so so many wonderful pieces um, so much creativity and um, you know and so it, it, it truly it felt it felt relieving it felt like um, you know this this for me is about raising the level of debate and and so now people more people will see the work because of this and it feels it feels really good right well your work both of you definitely going to be a bigger part of the conversation now yes, of course will. the conversation is what art prize is all about Congratulations to both thank of you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Yes, yeah. thank you for joining us. Thanks and good luck to you well, thank for you. the next phase of the competition. You betcha. Yeah. Thanks. We'll have more in-studio interviews coming up later in the show, and we'll be showing you the other final entries throughout the show in case you missed them. A reminder that you do have until Thursday night at 11.59 to vote for your favorites. And new this year, you can vote for as many of the favorites as you'd like. Your votes will determine the four $20,000 category awards on the public side. And the piece with the most votes on Thursday will win the $200,000 public grand prize. And don't forget to join us on both Monday and Tuesday night as we go in-depth with the finalists for both the public and the juror votes. We'll ask the professionals from around the nation to weigh in on why these finalists. That's Monday and Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock here on Wood TV 8.